Your brothers and sisters, Brother Minister Muhammad Ali. Now that I'm a Muslim, now that he gave me the beautiful name of Muhammad Ali and took away that slave name of Cassius Clay, now I can go all over the world. All over the world. He was sent to you directly from God. The white man don't want you to know who he is. So don't pay, this is the oldest man in America they don't want to talk to in the White House. This is the oldest man in America that you don't see out there begging. When you hear black power, it started right here. Everything that black people are talking today, bring him to me and I'll show you he heard another Muslim or he was once a Muslim or he read the newspaper, but they won't give him the credit. They don't want to follow the real man. Because of his religious beliefs, Ali refused to be drafted to the army. He was now facing five years in prison, stripped of his title. He also faced an angry media. I find nothing amusing or interesting or tolerable about this man. He's a disgrace to his country, his race, and what he laughingly describes as his profession. He has been found guilty. He is out on bail. He will inevitably go to prison, as well he should. He's a simplistic fool and a pawn. All I want is the following of my world, the black world, which numbers some 650 million. And this is what I have now. My stand for my religious belief, my stand for my people, speaking up for my people, all of them are with me. And that's all I want. I repeat my prayers, my sacrifices, my life, and my death. Uh -oh, Money means nothing to me, nor boxing, when it comes to the freedom of your people. So everything I'm doing, if it means hitchhike tomorrow, if it means be raggedy, if it means look for a job, I'll be happy because I can go to bed, my conscience is clear, and I didn't sell out or trade my people just because I could be rich in Hollywood. Hey, Cassius, you're talking. I'm not Cassius. You still calling me? I can't get or on with Mohammed, you. Or Mohammed, you're talking in. in I'm not that white man. You have to talk in general. So you want to keep calling me a white man's name? I'm not white. I don't want to be called after your name no more. I'm not no slave. I'm Mohammed Ali. But in war, the intention is to kill, 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 and continue killing innocent people. And our beautiful black African history. We don't hate you. We don't hate those of you who are white. We just want to stay black. We love my color. I just love myself. When you say, when I say supremacy, I mean in this sense. But white people are the one that really believe in supremacy and practice it. Do you share the same concern uh, that uh, Muhammad has for his draft status? Oh, I certainly do. Uh, you, my, my views on the draft are very clear. I'm against it. It had to make Muhammad Ali feel good to know that Bill Russell, Jim Brown, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had come to his defense in front of the world. And even the phrase, no Vietnamese ever called me the N-word, became popular nationwide. The courts had finally voted in Ali's favor. Now Ali wanted to get back to one thing. He had lost three years in the ring. How much did he have left?